Hi, everyone. My name is Mary Bear Shannon, and I am a reference librarian at the Haverford Township Free Library. And here is today's Reading with Reference. I want to tell you about uh, a series of YA novels that I have just been reading. Uh, I just finished the third one, uh, and I wanted to tell you about it. Maureen Johnson wrote the Truly Devious series. Um, she is um, the New York Times and USA Today. She's a best selling author of several YA novels, including um, Truly Devious, as well as Sweet Scarlet, 13 uh, Little Blue Envelopes, and The Name of the Star. Um, she is a Philly native, and she also graduated from the University of Delaware. Um, so I wanna tell you about the Truly Devious series. Um, there, there are three in them, Truly Devious, The Vanishing Star, and The Hand on the Wall. Um, and it's set at, in a fictitious Fictitious Ellingham Academy, which is famous, a famous private school in Vermont uh, and is known for bringing it bright, the brightest thinkers, inventors and artists to campus. Um, it was founded by Albert, Alling, Albert Ellingham, uh, an, an early 20th century tycoon uh, who wanted to make a wonderful place full of riddles, twisting pathways and gardens, quote, a place, he said, where learning is a game. Um, but shortly after the school opened, unfortunately, his wife and daughter were kidnapped. Uh, this was in the 1930s. Uh, the only real clue was a, uh, a mocking riddle listing methods of murder signed by, uh, signed by a frightening pseudonym, Truly Devious. Uh, it became one of the greatest unsolved uh, crimes in American history. Um, uh, enter Stevie Bell, uh, who is a true crime aficionado, uh, and she's about to begin her first year at Ellingham Academy. And she has an ambitious plan to solve the cold case of the Ellingham uh, kidnappings. Um, that is, she will solve the case when she gets a grip uh, on her demanding new school life uh, and her housemates, um, the inventor, the novelist, the actor, uh, the artist, and the jokester. Uh, but something strange is happening at Ellingham. Truly Devious makes a surprise return uh, and death revisits Ellingham Academy. Uh, and the past uh, has kind of crawled out of the grave, uh, so to speak, uh, and someone is getting away with murder. Um, I really love the the mysteries of the past from the 1930s, the, the kidnappings and the, the murders, as well as the ones that are happening uh, in, in today's world. Um, they really do kind of dovetail uh, very well. Um, and uh, Stevie Bell continues to um, to seek the, the the solve of the mur murders in the 30s, but also she starts to focus on the murders that are happening around her. Um, I really liked this book, the this series a lot. Um, and I love the historical nature of the first, the first set of mysteries set in the 30s uh, and how it is interwoven with the current mystery uh, facing uh, C.V. Bell and her friends at Ellingham. Uh, the historic case to me is reminiscent of the Lindbergh baby kidnapping case of the 1930s, and that may have been where uh, Maureen Johnson uh, took her inspiration. Um, and I really enjoyed Stevie Bell's character. Uh, she's flawed, uh, but you really come to love uh, her and the way she is. Uh, she looks and relates to the world. Um, the good news is that you can get all three copies, uh, both in our, uh, our all three um, in three places, our catalog, the o Overdrive Libby app, uh, and also Hoopla. So there's lots of ways to access this trilogy. Um, and again, as I always say, uh, YA novels are not just for for uh, young adults. Uh, it's really for everybody. And I think this is a really well written series uh, that you should uh, give a try. So that's my reading with reference for today. Uh, I hope you have a great week.